Today at Pearl's Park Pass, we're doing the top eight teapots in Disneyland. What? And I guarantee the number one teapot's not the one you're thinking. I can guarantee that. I'm Chris Provost from Provost Park Best. Be sure to watch this video all the way to the end because at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how you have a chance to win this exclusive Club 33 Haunted Mansion pin. What? There are eight hidden teapots in all of Disneyland. Now, if you count the ones that are drawn on, there's more, but we're just counting the actual physical teapots. I'm going to be showing you those different eight teapots located in Disneyland. And these, I mean, these are really hard to find. The number one one, you have to have a flashlight. It's so well hidden. The number eight teapot is located in Snow White's Enchanted Wish. Just as you're about to enter into the new Snow White Enchanted Wish attraction, you're going to see the newest teapot to Disneyland. This is the newest teapot that's been added to Disneyland. What? This used to be a very scary area. It's been completely redone for the new Snow White Enchanted Adventure. And there you can see the newest teapot at Disneyland. They now have a look, you see Snow White dancing. The number seventh teapot is located on the Pinocchio's Daring Journey Adventure ride. The number seven teapot is located here at the very end of the ride on the fireplace mantle. The number six teapot is located in a winter display right outside the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. To see the number six teapot, you have to go to the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique, but it's not this window display, it's the one that's on the side. That's where you'll see the six teapot located in Fantasyland. You can see it right here in the window, right next. There it is. It's a gorgeous teapot with flowers on it and the cups have little rosebuds on it. For this video, I did a lot of research and learned the difference between a kettle a teapot and a pitcher. Not that type of pitcher, but an actual pouring pitcher. The differences are this. A kettle is what you warm the water on. Uh, the, so you put the on the oven, you warm the water. Then a teapot technically is where you pour the warm water into and then you put the tea in there and let the tea steep. That's a teapot. Now a kettle are oftentimes used as teapots though, but a teapot can never be used as a kettle. Another thing about a teapot is they have a spout, like a little spout at the end of it. Whereas a pitcher, like a pitcher of lemonade, that's just a wide open mouth with no spout. That's the difference between a kettle, a teapot, and a pitcher. Did you know that our Patreon members get an extra video every Sunday night where Amanda and I answer their questions? They ask us anything they want and we answer their questions. If you want to become a Patreon and help support Provost Park Pass, you go to patreon.com and slash Provost Park Pass. For three dollars a month, you get an extra video every Sunday night. What? It's amazing. That's a fun community too. We're very proud of it. Come join it. The number five teapot in all of Disneyland is located in the Haunted Mansion. I often wonder, what were they looking at with that telescope? It looks like the, parent, the telescope is looking at that fort right over there. Keeping an eye on the neighbors. The fifth best teapot is located in the graveyard of the Haunted Mansion. And you look around, you'll see the teapot, it's floating and pouring tea, so all the little specters around there can have a nice little spot of tea. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get steamed over, pour me out. I can't remember the rest of that song. 
<laughs> Do you remember I showed, talked about the difference between a teapot, a kettle, and a pitcher? Well, this here in New Orleans, this is a pitcher. You see, there's no spout on it. It's just got a wide open lip, making it a pitcher here in New Orleans. Just a little fun fact. Hi, guys! Oh my gosh, Chris is my favorite YouTuber. I also do YouTube as well. My name's Jess Fam. We do family vlogs, but today we're doing Say Yes to Everything That My Woo! Kids Say for 24 hours in Disneyland. I've watched Chris's videos for a while now, and I saw him walking by, and I was like, oh, do I say it? No, I'm not gonna say it. Okay, I'm gonna say hi. So, here I am, here so we good. are. Oh my gosh, and check this out. She has to say yes for 24 hours. Look at yes. all the merch the kids have already got. It's oh amazing. my gosh. It's wish me luck. Wish me luck. Spider bots. Spider bots. And we got some shoot webs. Oh, you got the shoot webs? Yeah, they did. <laughs> I can There you are, there you go. Okay. You unite. <laughs> The cool thing about New Orleans Square is if you look up on the second level, there's these porches and they tell stories. This one is voodoo because, you know, Dr. Facilier, uh, there's a little voodoo school. Mm -hmm. And if you look up here on this porch, you see what you see? Musical instruments. And periodically you can hear them talking and music starting because, you know, New Orleans, jazz. But right above the Port Royal Curios and Curiosities, you see the number four teapot in all of Disneyland. It's right there. On this second shelf, you can see on the, on the porch up there, it seems like they're having a little tea party. Did you guys know that Disneyland is open? I'm sure you probably know that. And if you want to come down here, the best way to get tickets is to go to Getaway Today. They'll give you the best price on tickets, price guarantee. That means if you buy a ticket and the price drops down later on, they will refund the difference. What? Yeah, so all you have to do is click the link down below or call 1-855-GETAWAY and you will get your tickets to come on down and do something. Come on down, the water's fine, it's great, it's a lot of fun. Get down here. To find the number three teapot in all of Disneyland, you've got to go in Tarzan's Treehouse. You're going to find the number three teapot right at the exit as you're leaving Tarzan's Treehouse. Okay, so what have you learned today? That's a kettle, that's what you warm your water in. That's a pitcher, no spout. And this is a teapot. You'll notice that teapot looks exactly like Mrs. Potts and the cup looks like Chip from Beauty and the Beast. Now some people speculate that Jane is actually the great, 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 great granddaughter of Belle from Beauty and the Beast and that Belle would give this tea set to her daughter and then a daughter gave it to her daughter and then a daughter gave it to her daughter and they carried it down and that's why it's located here at Tarzan's Treehouse. What? Of course you knew we'd end up at Alice in Wonderland because they have a tea party for crying out loud. Of course, it's gonna be amazing. And the number two best teapot in all of Disneyland is located on this attraction, Alice in Wonderland. Nope, nope, nope. Those are teacups, not teapots. Those don't count those. Don't look at them. At the end of the attraction, you're going to Mad Hatter's tea party, and there's a teapot with three spouts. Shh. That is the number two teapot in Disneyland. At the end of the ride, you exit out and you enter back in to the uh, tea party. But the best teapot is right here on the right hand side. Number two, the three spouted teapot. If you enjoy these videos, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button and subscribe button. That way you can see all the other new videos come up with. And I'd appreciate it if you put it down in the comments what other things you want us to do, what other crazy videos you want us to do here in Disneyland. I mean, put it down. We'll try to figure it out and do any of these comments you can. This is a fan suggestion, teapots. So like, sure, let's do it. The number one teapot is located in Pirates of the Caribbean. Now this boy, howdy, let me tell you, this teapot is so well hidden that most people don't even see it. In fact, I brought a flashlight to show it to you because it's hard to see. It's good to see you. You look fantastic. Well, aren't you kind? You know, I do fancy myself the best dressed pirate in the Caribbean. But then again, me competition's Mr. Sparrow and a bunch of fish. So it's not kind of hard to stand out. Have a good day. Same to you as well. Don't worry, I saved you plenty of treasure. Oh, okay, perfect. Thank you. <laughs> now, where is this hidden teapot? Well, it's at the very end of the ride when you go into the burning building. When you go into the burning building, you're going to look up, way high up. And there's a teapot hanging from a, a rafter up there. Just, it's like 20 or 30 feet high. I'm going to shine my flashlight on it so you can see a little bit better. 
it is amazing. Most people don't notice this small detail because it goes by so fast. You have to look up. There it is, right there. Isn't that teapot and the pirates amazing? We hit it up high. Let me show you the pin. Check this out. This is a Club 33 exclusive. You have to be a member of Club 33 in order to be eligible to get this pin. It is celebrating the 50th anniversary of the Haunted Mansion. It's a door, and if you open it up, look, you can see the ghost in there blowing out the candles on a cake. Now, here's what you have to do in order to be eligible to win this pin. There's three things you have to do. First, you need to subscribe to our channel here at Pearl's Park Pass. Second, you need to like this video. And third, you need to put a comment down below. If you do all three of those things, you are now eligible to win this pin. On July 3rd, Saturday, July 3rd, we'll be choosing a winner and then letting them, notifying them and they we will mail this to them. You guys, you don't have to do anything. You guys will just receive this if you win. Now, if you wanna get a second chance, to double your chances to, to win this pin, hit that share button down below and share this video and that'll let us know, hey, this person gets two chances to win this amazing pin. This is an awesome pin, guys. You can't buy this in a store. If you wanna have a chance to win, subscribe, like, comment, extra chance, share. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And if you can, go ahead and hit like, subscribe. You know the deal by now. Just have some fun with it. Also, put it down in the comments down below what other kind of crazy videos you want us to do. And we're going to do some secret reveals and attractions. You are awesome and have a fantastic week. I'll talk to you later.